Good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFTs.com, bringing you a end of day review of European markets for Tuesday's trading, the 13th of June 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, let's bring up the uh, stats then for European market close. Let's see exactly where we uh, certainly uh, finished for the uh, for the day. The FTSE finished at 7500 at uh, minus 11 points for the day. The, the DAX certainly gaining uh, up 74 points, helped by the uh, stronger ZEW numbers. The uh, French CAC as well finished up 21, helped by the stronger employment numbers. The FTSE MIB certainly helped as well by the uh, weaker Euro falling below 1.12 on the back of those stronger inflation numbers out of the US, IBEX and stock 600. So that's the status quo. So overall, ZEW from the Eurozone coming in stronger than expected. That's certainly helping. Also the rebound in technology stocks as well, with the NASDAQ hitting the 25 or 70, sorry, 5760 zone. Okay, if you look at the NASDAQ, we gapped higher. It has given some of that back, but we certainly gapped higher. We've closed the gap now and we've certainly thrust higher again. So you are looking at the NASDAQ certainly up quite prolifically. So keep an eye on the NASDAQ in terms of the next move going forward. So we are capped at this key resistance at 57.50 to 57.60, and you are looking for potential further downside. Okay, so that's the status quo at present. In terms of other economic news, we have uh, the situation in Qatar, certainly, uh, shall we say, spiraling out of control to a large extent. Uh, Qatar, the world's second largest helium producer, certainly starting to shut, shut down. Also, the uh, Iraqis are certainly opposed to the bombardment uh, against Qatar. So, again, we'll see if that certainly uh, starts to uh, have an impact on the market. So far, it hasn't. The market certainly seem to be ignoring it altogether. Also, with regards to the UK, John Major warns against DUBT, DUP deal as talks with the Tories begin. Okay, so basically, apparently, the, uh, the DUP deal more or less done and dusted and uh, certainly needs to be signed tomorrow. Uh, and again, it'll be interesting to see how the uh, the market responds to that. We have had stronger inflation out of the UK today, so therefore keeping the FTSE 100 at bay due to the uh, erosion in real wages, certainly hurting economic growth going forward. Okay, so other economic data that I can certainly uh, go over. We had a uh, stronger inflation number. We had Red Book Index coming in slightly weaker than expected. We're looking forward to the API data at half past nine now. We'll see exactly how that responds. We have had a spike in oil though. Uh, I can't actually pinpoint the reason why, but certainly a spike in oil. If I go to the 15 minute chart, you can see we've had a thrust from that 45.6, right almost a dollar, just literally out of nowhere. Uh, quite an impressive thrust at that. Okay, so certainly looking to the reasons why. Okay, if anything, maybe the Iraqis opposing the uh, Qatar blockade, whether or not that certainly exacerbates and complicates things. I think we already know, we already know where the uh, Iraqis are. They're certainly supporting the Iranians, so obviously they would come out with that. But anyway, either way, it certainly seems that the situation is getting out of control, especially with the leader of Iran stating that the uh, he has evidence that the US are dictating and uh, obviously uh, supporting ISIS, which is quite interesting. Okay, so that's the status quo. Now let's see exactly where we are from a technical perspective. Okay, moving on to the daily chart, first and foremost, uh, holding that double top, double top and you drop. So 12.84, you were certainly holding at present. Uh, euro hovering around the 1.12 level so uh, again no drastic drop in the euro uh, the hns formation of the 60 minute chart seems very interesting to me now given the fact that the nasdaq has fallen back 200 points the german dax certainly hasn't fallen back and hasn't retraced so again that's a cause for concern there was some negative news today with regards to spain's Rajoy having a no confidence vote whether or not that will actually pass is a different story altogether but again something that you can't ignore so certainly keep an eye out for uh, for tail risk okay in terms of the uh, German DAX like I said you have this low concept of a lower high okay you have an unfilled gap left above yes we are aware of that but you also have the, the H&S formation so if the Nasdaq continues to flush today or actually if it does flush today the US equity certainly top out then you are seeing the, the DAX certainly flush to the downside as well so keep an eye on the DAX okay let's see exactly what happens here you've certainly held that resistance at 12780 you failed to close the gap even stronger ZEW data again so again that's certainly another cause for concern you also have this uh, H&S type formation here as well okay you have an unfilled gap below at 12690 so certainly a possibility we could go to certainly flush lower and close that gap okay and leave the a gap above or unfilled okay so right shoulder then looking to flush 
if the Nasdaq flushes as well down to 12,700, potentially down to the gap fill at 12,690. So certainly watch out for equity market weakness. That's basically my motto. Okay, watch out for equity market weakness going forward. The French CAC, okay, stronger employment data on the French CAC certainly helped, but still an inside bar, okay? So no real significant move higher. Uh, if anything, the bears are in control. 60-minute chart still languishing at the lows. We failed to close the gap below. That's obviously due to the stronger, stronger employment data. And again, like I said, you have that unfilled gap at 5,300 that you could potentially target on the French count. Certainly building a base around this 52.50, but if we flush in US equities and you are looking at closing the gap below at 52.40. In terms of the FTSE 100, certainly remains weak from my perspective. Uh, again, uh, we are looking to target that gap at 74.50, especially with stronger inflation numbers today as well. That certainly will weigh on the uh, the actual uh, on the actual index itself. Uh, 60 minute chart, you still have that Fib 75% being held, looking at a lower high. And again, it's a matter of whether or not we test that 7450 double bottom, or we actually go and break below to 7390. Okay, so it'd be interesting to see if we can make a lower high here. A daily chart remains a HNS formation, which I've told you on multiple occasions, if this bull flag or this bullish engulfing candle fails, which was triggered on Friday, then you are looking for a seller. Major political uncertainty in, in the UK, Brexit uncertainty as well, all those factors adding together and signal risk aversion from my perspective. Okay, so therefore you are looking for a move lower, so keep an eye on that. Okay, now in terms of the euro stocks, last but not least, let's just quickly bring this up for you and see exactly where we stand. 10 minute chart at the moment, certainly seems like it's building some type of base here. You still have the unfilled gap below, so again, certainly need to close the gap. We also have an unfilled gap above as well, so uh, 3585. Um, but given the stronger ZEW data today, we still failed to close that gap, which isn't exactly a bullish sign. So let's keep an eye on the uh, euro stocks, uh, looking at the lighter time frames. If you actually break this key support here, then you are looking for gap fill below at 3440. Now, if US equities have topped out and started to flush lower, then that gap certainly will look to close. OK, so looking for that gap to close on the downside. OK, I think that's a good summation, really, of the uh, the markets at present. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.